too will actually do that. They have an app that you can sync up and it'll cool. it'll call out meters and cows. So it's just it's just interesting that they're kind of learning these things as they go and hopefully as it continues to evolve and I hope as more people get the opportunity to understand that people like yourself are competing, Sarah, that they're gonna want to get out and compete as well and grow this division. So cool. you're you're competing, you're you're really blazing a trail for a lot of yeah. other people. What, with Tom, all the frustration you're having, don't forget that for sure. So Tom had said that on the show and we had him on uh, a couple of weeks ago. And that I really resonated with me because I know that there's a lot of division in within the division <laughs> on right. people who are happy with the way that things are going or unhappy because there are so many improvements that still need to be made. And Tom's point was really like, we have to keep showing up and competing in the thing, even if it's not perfect, because we have to keep telling them and giving them the feedback of what needs to change. Right. And it's just, it's, I can totally see from an adaptive athlete's perspective, how difficult that decision must be to be like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the trailblazer to John's point because right. the entire community needs this. They need me to get up on the podium and then be like, Hey, CrossFit, by the way, here's like what you need to learn from this experience from my experience. But I also understand being like, this shit is not being run right. Why would I participate? Like, I get it. It's tough. Well, yeah, and you make a good point, Nikki, too. When I was, like, just, you know, first time I, at the podium, I could see it was incredible. I met this guy, Lance. He's in the intellectual division, and, and I, I'm seeing all these athletes, and they're so excited, and I'm, I'm there, and I'm, I'm looking, and I'm going, okay, this is this is really awesome. This is their time to shine. They have worked so hard. If if I can say that I worked hard, I can't imagine what these other athletes have endured and have have worked for, and their their determination to get here. But my my podium experience, I I have to say, I was so choked because there were there was no guidance of what to do. You've got right. blind people, you've got wheelchair people, you've got intellectual, and you've got short, short stature. And so all the athletes who were upper and lower extremity were all lined up before us. And we were to the side because we didn't compete further than the open. And we were kind of just like shoved, shoved over while all the other athletes had their one, two, and three jersey. And believe it or not, we were given a box of generic t-shirts, like plain, plain camo shirts. And I could, I would just watched, right? I just watched everything and I, I mean, watched all these athletes go, hey, like we, we want like the first, second and third, like where's ours? When people are so proud and they're jumping up and down and, and I thought, man, this is like really odd. Like, why are we just sort of to the side? And there were these two volunteers that were there and they had no idea like how to how to do anything, how to box a t-shirt and went, here guys, find your size. And I, 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 I just, I was so shocked, right? Because I thought, this is really, really odd. Where, like, I thought we were supposed to have first, second, and third, we worked so hard. And even somebody went over to a guy and said, hey, you've got a box of the first, second, and third. Can we get one of those? He was like, no, these are only for the podium athletes. And we were like, pretty sure that that's bro. Yeah. And, and I just, I thought that was funny because where is the accessibility? Where is the inclusion? I talked to an athlete who is in a wheelchair and her and her coach were like, yeah, don't don't bother saying anything we've already tried and that that absolutely broke my heart because I was like the fact that they have said tried so many times and said so many things and they're like just don't try and I thought that, that, that's not the the right way to go about things and so yeah. I'm so thankful to you and John that I could hop on here and you, you got to be a voice and an advocate for these people because they are living uh, a day-to-day -day life with this disability. The the elite athletes, I, I get it, they train hard. I watch Emily and I see her train. But 
they were they have to live and perform with these disabilities right so that really just uh, takes fitness level to the to the extreme when you really think about it truly oh totally totally i'm i'm hopeful that they're going to get this together sarah for whatever that's worth i mean if you look back on the year and i'm not i'm not trying to make excuses for crossfit i'm oh no a pretty loud uh i'm just gonna call myself a complainer about how they've handled the adaptive community but i've certainly criticized them for it and but when i look at some of the changes they've made they had some turnover they laid off some people in that uh group a few weeks out before the games i forget exactly how far it was so i'm sure that didn't help and and to your point like this was the first year they had required all the medical testing